Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I have been away from this channel for a good while now because I have actually been ill. I've been ill for over a month. I think in total it's been around five to six weeks and I've just, I've recorded at least two videos before I was ill. I wanted to edit them and just get them out but I've just been so ill and just so unlucky over the past few weeks I've gone through pharyngitis again which is basically if anyone didn't know it's kind of like tonsillitis and it's just oh I've it's been awful as I've gotten better I've become a little bit more healthy in what I'm eating I'm controlling what I'm eating getting back into exercising and I've just really been feeling a lot better as I was just recovering I caught a cold and then that turned into a sore throat which I am now recovering from again so this is like the end result of a five week um, pharyngitis and cold and now sore through. I, yeah, that's basically what it is. Just a little heads up, if you can hear the tennis at all in the background, my mum is in the next room and yeah, the tennis is playing. So if you hear any random noises, that is why. Also there is a big massive party going out on, on my neighbour's lawn outside and I've shut my window and their music is still blasting so if you hear any weird noises in the background that is why and I do apologize. As you can see in the title above this video is kind of like a review slash first impressions on the new palette by Soph Revolution and it, this is really dusty because I've just been using it. I have to say this palette is one hell of a palette. It is so good. The eyeshadows in here are absolutely stunning. You get a range of kind of warmer to cool tones. I just think this is a perfect summer palette just to go, just to go, I know I say this a lot in a lot of my videos that you can just take a few of these palettes away with you if you just want to create one or two looks but I feel like this palette you can create so many different looks for so many different occasions and I think this is one palette that I'm going to be using a lot this summer. There are 18 shadows all together in this palette which is six less, yeah six less than the previous palette because the previous palette had a sheet with the names on as you can see here this is my protective sheet for the new palette however this time she's gone for putting the names under the eyeshadows and I actually prefer this I would rather have names under the eyeshadows than an extra six eyeshadows that I possibly am not going to use so I really like the fact that she's done that with this palette. Some of the names are really fancy and intriguing. I love the name of Reputation, hence Taylor Swift. And then you have like Enchanted, which is also Taylor Swift. I really like the shade Chocolate Orange. It's like this burnt orange. The shades I did, however, use are Cookie Dough, Vitamin C, Sweet and Sour, 21, Enchanted, and LA Sun. Oh, I used Infinity as well, which by the way, is possibly one of my favorite shimmers. Onto the lipsticks, oh my goodness. Now I love the natural neutral nudes shades, whatever you want to call them, and Soph has gone for three gorgeous natural nude shades, and I tell you now, I think people are scared that these are gonna to be too dark. I'm wearing fudge today, and I'm so happy I got all three, because the formula, I keep looking at myself in the mirror, and the formula, I'm loving it. I would say they match up to like high-end high brands like Too Faced with their natural collection that's just been released. You could easily find these in the Too Faced range and I'm telling you now, for £4 for each of these, I would so go with these <laughs> any day. I'm not making any sense, I do apologise. The names of the shades are Cake, Syrup and Fudge. I will go into detail a little bit later on those lipsticks. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. So I've got my face all ready to go and now we're going to jump in to the Soph Extra Spice palette. This is Soph's first palette. Now in comparison to the new one, it's kind of like flipped and gone with a matte logo and rose gold box. They look very sleek, very high end I feel compared to most of Revolution's other palettes. There is the rose gold palette. I actually haven't opened this yet and I actually haven't got any fingerprints on it which I'm quite surprised. This kind of packaging is very prone to fingerprints and I'm going to stop blinding you. I'm going to open this if I can and out comes the plastic sheet and oh my gosh I'm actually quite excited to use these shades. So this extra spice palette comes with 18 shadows and the original has 24. This mirror is really good by the way. I can see my whole face in it and that is a good thing. I'm gonna start off with, I need a base shade. I'm gonna take a bit of cookie dough and I'm just gonna put this all over the eyelid basically, mainly in the crease. 
The brush I'm using is by Zoeva and it's the 227 Lux Soft Definer. There we go. Next, I'm going to go in with Sweet and Sour just to give a bit of a backdrop. These colours just look really, really nice. And that. Oh my goodness. That orange is really, really nice. I am living for this orange. Holy moly. I'm going to take 21, which is one of So's favourite bands, which is 21 Pilots, and also my sister loves this band. So 21, here we go. This is a really nice pink. I own a similar one in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance palette. So... The pigmentation on this, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at that. I need to just give Scarlett a shout out because she's the one who kind of convinced me, well, her and Soph convinced me to get this palette and I wasn't going to get it because I own a, quite a lot of the shades in this palette. For £10, the pigmentation on this is incredible. This is, ugh, everything. So I'm just blending those shades together. The next shade I'm going to take is... Enchanted and that is on the 231 Lux Petite Crease. Again, Enchanted is a Taylor Swift song and one I absolutely love as well. Um, I'm just going to take a bit of this that is nice, pigmented and quite dark. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to run this kind of from the outer corner and really into the crease because I want it to look very pink and purpley. I'm going to go back in with 21 and just blend those shades together and add a bit more pink to the crease. Just going to add a little bit more of sweet and sour. Now I'm going to take the 232 Lux Classic shader. I'm going to go in with 21 again just to brighten up this part of the eye. I'm freaking out of the pigmentation. This pigmentation Wow, I'm loving this to bits. So if I was impressed with your first palette, but this is this has gone beyond. And to think I wasn't going to buy this palette, I am so happy I did. Where I've gone over the sweet and sour orange to blend it out on my brow bone, I'm just gonna add a bit of vitamin C, which is right here on the same brush, the two the two two seven brush. I think I'm going to cut the crease a little bit just in the inner corner so I can give it a bit of sh I want to put a bit of shimmer onto my eyes. This is the lip contour brush and I'm going to use this to cut my crease. I don't know why, I find this so easy to like define lips and define the eyes because it's a flat brush. But this is the 330 Lip Contour by Zoeva. Can you tell I love Zoeva brushes? I'm going to use my absolute favourite. I'm obsessed with this concealer. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define. The concealer that I normally use like all the time is the Lasting Perfection by Collection Concealer and now I think I found my new favourite. Next I'm taking a smaller flat brush and I'm going to take the LA Sun shade, this shimmer shade down here. Okay, that's without no Fix Plus. What the hell does this look like with Fix Plus? I need to I need to find this out. This is my Prep and Prime MAC. Put some Fix Plus on that. <laughs> oh my, oh my. That's all I can say. I can't say much more than oh my. Wow. Every time, every time I put that on first time, it just looks amazing. I feel like a little girl and I'm playing with my Barbies. Shh, phone. I'm loving this. Oh my. You don't even need Fix Plus. I'm just using Fix Plus because I'm just testing it out to see what it looks like without, oh, with Fix Plus. I'm, I'm losing my sentences.
I'm not bringing it all the way into the inner corner because I kind of want to use that silver. It's been calling my name this whole video and I don't have any shade like that. I'm going to use the 238 Lux Precise Shader by Zoeva and this is a very small dainty flat brush and I'm just going to take the infinity shade and put that in the inner corner. Wow, I definitely don't have a shade like this. And I think I'm obsessed. <sighs> oh, I'm in love. And that's not even using Fix Plus at all. Right round in the inner corner, just under the bottom lash near the tear duct as well. Just blending the yellow gold and the silver together just to give it a bit of a transition. bit more of 21 and just blend that into the gold a little bit more just a tiny bit not too much because I don't want to overload overload it I'm now going to take the 230 Lux pencil brush this is one of my favorite brushes underlining your bottom eye eyelid there we go I'm going to start off with 21 and just brush that under the bottom lash Then you're gonna go in with Sweet and Sour. It warms the bottom eyelid a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add a bit of Vitamin C because the gold, the gold on top will mirror with the yellow. I don't know, I'm not even making any sense anymore. But I really quite like this. I'm just gonna take the 221 Lux Soft Crease Brush. This is really nice for blending eyeshadows out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Insta Fix and Matte by Rimmel Powder. This is pure white translute, translucent, translucent. Right, I'm just going to basically run this right round the top of the eyelid just to blend those shades together and blend it out so there's not that fine line. I don't like fine lines and Scarlett will know this. The amount of pictures I see with people where they haven't blended their eyeshadows out. I just cringe. <laughs> okay, it's just to kind of soften up the um, edges. That's basically all it is. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but blend it out, not blend it out. I don't know, but you can do what you want. It's, it's your look, it's your eyeshadow, it's your face. Those are the eyes. I'm now gonna go away and put some eyeliner on and my mascara, and I'll be right back to apply the lipstick. So I've done my eyeliner and I've done my mascara and the eyeliner that I went for was the, one of my favourites, it's the Exaggerate, Exaggerate, it's just called Exaggerate Eyeliner by Rimmel London. I haven't done a wing eyeliner in so long and then my mascara I went for is one of my favourites. I just love this to bits and it is by Maybelline New York, it's the last sensational. I went for a bit of eyeliner on my waterline just to the middle of my eye. That was the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Now we're gonna go in with lipsticks and just before that I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. I need to zoom, I need to zoom you guys out. Yes, I have new glasses, I have three actually. But these are rose gold, I just had to get them. They're from the Kylie collection if you're wondering. Because I ordered this from the Revolution website, Revolution kindly sent me a lip liner as well. I'm actually really glad they sent me a lip liner because I don't really own any other lip liners that possibly would go with these shades. I'm hoping the formula is gonna be good as well because I really like satin formulas. The packaging is rose gold and matte. The first one we have here is Syrup. This is supposed to be the lightest in the range and yeah it is it's a gorgeous like neutral brown shade I think this is possibly your everyday shade I would say the next one we have is cake this is more a pink neutral shade and quite often I go for a shade like this when I go to work so this is gonna be I, I can tell all these shades are gonna be used because they're all on the natural um, end of the spectrum the last shade we have is fudge this is the darkest in the range I'm gonna use this one today because I want you guys to see what it looks like on a pale because uh, I'm pale I'm pale as a ghost the lip pencil is called noble or the shade is called noble oh that pop sound can we just I just I love doing that yeah so I'm gonna pop this on my lips. 
Does anyone love lining their lips or is that just me? I love, I don't know, I love lining my lips. My sister or brother are probably watching this and like, no, I don't like, I like doing that. Really? You're a widow. I really like the added touch on all the lipsticks of her um, name embossed in the lipsticks. I think that's quite cool. Soph must feel so privileged to have her name on a lipstick. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I quite like the idea. And I can see why she called it fudge. It was a very warm brown. I'm like putting this right in front of the camera, I'm so sorry. just skip that <laughs> a bee no kidding a bee just hit the window an actual freaking bumblebee i really like this don't come back you can't come in your home is not here this is definitely perfect for like the summer let's just zoom in let's just zoom in guys it's quite nice my eyes yeah I really, really like this shade. I can see myself wearing this a lot. Yeah, that is me done. That is me done. Let's take this hair out because I don't need that up anymore. So that is the finished look. I am living for this look. It's, I don't know, it's just, I, I really like it. I'm really loving these products. They're not even mine, but I'm really excited to use these and continue using them. Um, I might just, I'm gonna blot my lips. There we go. I like it either way, I really do. I think, so if you've outdone yourself with this range, I really love the new eyeshadow palette. I think from the eyeshadows that I've used, it's a little bit more pigmented than the original one. I don't know, like, it feels a little bit more pigmented, maybe because they're stronger colours and not so neutral compared to the old one. However, the range I really love, I really love all the lipstick shades. And yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye. And that bee is still trying to come in my window. Stop. Oh, eyeshadows. I don't know why I'm talking about this because I can do this after. I really should get my, um, Katie, you are not ready. Why are you filming? Right. I don't think I own a pink like this, but I own a similar one in the, um, oh my gosh. What is that? Get off. For underlining your underline underlining your underlashy. What are you saying? Oh, what am I doing? Concentrate, girl.